Hello students, welcome back to Physics with Safter. Now you are watching ITCRC Physics Past Paper Solution Series. And today we are going to solve questions from the past paper on topic pressure. So let's begin the lesson of the day. The question number one is, which block exert the greatest pressure on the surface below it? In this diagram, you can see we have four blocks. Their weight and areas of the base are given and we need to select which exert the greatest pressure. To calculate the pressure, the first thing we should know about the equation of pressure. Pressure is equals to force per unit area. It means if you want to calculate the pressure, then you need two things. What is the forces there and how much area? Check one by one all blocks. Take the first one. This is block one. Look at this area that is 10 centimeter squared and weight 100 Newton. Because we are not using any external force, that's why the weight of the block is behave like its force. So you can write for the first block like this. The force is equals to 100 Newton. An area you can write suppose a1 that is 10 centimeter squared. Now calculate the pressure. P1 is equals to F1 that is 100 over 10. When you divide the number 100 over 10 we get 10 and we get 10 Pascal. Now consider the second block. This is block 2. The area is 20 cm squared and the weight is 100 Newton. Now we are going to calculate the pressure 2. F2 is given 100 Newton. A2 that is 20 cm squared and P2 will be force per unit area means 100 over 20. When you make the simplification, then we get uh, 5 Pascal. Now move on to the third block. For block C, the area is 10 cm squared and weight is 200 Newton. For block 3, we can write the force F3 that is 200 Newton and A3 you can write 10 cm squared. Pressure P3 you can find force that is 200 over 10 and finally we get uh, make cancellation 20 Pascal. Now move on to the fourth one that is block 4. The area is given 20 cm squared and the weight of the block is 200 Newton. So we can write here F4 that is uh, 200 Newton. A4 is 20 cm squared. And finally, P4, you can write force that is 200 over 20. And we get 10. Pascal. Now compare the result. Pressure 1 calculated 10 Pascal. Pressure 2 calculated 5 Pascal. 3 calculated 20 Pascal. And 4 calculated 10 Pascal again. So the greatest pressure exert on the surface below is 20. And that is option number C.
that is the correct answer question number 2 the diagram shows a simple mercury barometer which length is used to find the value of atmospheric pressure and we have four options you know well what is a barometer used to measure atmospheric pressure in the construction of barometer you can see we use a glass tube to measuring the length of mercury column here we have a meter rule and mercury as a liquid now first you should know how to measure the length of mercury column you always start with this point this is the surface of mercury till this point so you need to know the difference between these two points it gives you the pressure value now count the numbers according to the scale so you can see here this is 10 and one increment is equal to 2 here so that's the first reading is equals to 12 so you can write here this is the 12 now look at the final that is at this point you can read mercury level here 80 82 84 and 86 the second is recorded 86 now you can make the difference 86 minus 12 gives uh, 74 centimeter that's why option b is the correct answer the diagram shows three different containers j k and l each container contain water which statement about the pressure of water on the base of each container is correct and we have four options you need to remember one point pressure is independent of the shape of container it depends upon depth only from the surface now no doubt they are different in shape but check the depth for the first case you can see here this is the surface and this is the final the second container J start with the same and look at its depth it's same third from here its surface and till the base so you can see clearly in all container the depths are same and pressure depends upon the depth only you need to remember this point look at the option the water pressure is greatest in container J that is not correct the water pressure is greatest in container K wrong the pressure water pressure is greatest in the container L that is also not correct the water pressure is the same for all three container that's the right answer and because of the same depth now question number four a brick with flat rectangular sides rest on a table the brick is now turned so that it's rest on the table on its smallest face how has his affected the force and the pressure exerted by the brick on the table look at the diagram one the block is resting flat in the second case the same block is placed vertically that's the main difference you need to remember either the block uh, resting horizontally or vertically it weight does not change only the base area change in contact with the surface in this case the weight is acts like force so this is the weight in case of one and that is equals to force and look at the base area it's bigger in size if you compare with the second one in the second diagram the weight is same w 
and that is the force F. In this diagram, the base area is small. Now move on to the options. Number one is force. Force is increased, that is not possible. Option B, force is increased, not correct. C, unchanged, that is correct. And D, unchanged, that is also correct. It means option A and B cannot be right answers, but there is a tie between C and D. So you need to check the second column. In the second column, what we have, you have pressure. Pressure, you know well, the pressure is equals to force per unit area. It means pressure depends upon force and area. But in this case, the force is constant. So, only the area will describe low or high pressure. The pressure is going to increase or decrease. It depends upon area. In the second diagram, the area is low. That's why it gives high pressure. Check the options. Pressure increase. Yes. Unchanged. Not possible. Increase. That is correct. Unchanged. Not possible. So look at the rows which gives two correct options. Option number C is the right answer. Question number 5. The diagram shows a manometer containing a liquid. The manometer is used to find the difference between the pressure of a gas and atmospheric pressure. Which distance represents this uh, pressure difference? You can see a manometer and you have an idea manometers are used to measure the pressure difference between the two gases or a pressure difference between a given gas and atmospheric. Now in the left hand side you can see the gas which exert the pressure of the liquid inside the manometer. The color portion shows liquid inside the manometer. Remember what we need to calculate here, we are going to measure the pressure difference. For that, you need to know what is the difference of level in the liquid. So you can see here, the first level is here. Okay, the second is here. It means you need to know only this difference. That gives you the correct answer. So it is very clear in the diagram. C is the right answer. Now question number 6. The diagram shows a dam holding back water. The depth of water is 65 meter. The density of water is 1000 kg per cubic meter. The gravitational field strength G is 10 Newton per kilogram. What is the pressure exerted at the base of the dam due to the water? The pressure of a liquid at a certain depth you can find by using this equation. Pressure is equals to rho g h. Here this is called the density of the liquid. This is your gravitational strength. And H is the depth from the surface. Now in this question, look at this. The density of the water is given that is 1000 into G that is 10 and depth that is 65. Now multiply all the numbers. Then we get 650000. And you know well. Pressure is measured in Pascal, so you write here PA. So look at the option. Option D is the right answer. Now question number 7. What does a barometer measure? This type of question, you should know about the definition of instruments. So read the option. 
the current in a circuit that is not correct the density of solid no the pressure of the liquid yes the temperature of an object no option C is the correct answer because by the definition of barometer we know that it is used to measure atmospheric pressure question number 8 four glass tanks contain water in which tank is the pressure of the water on the base greatest you know well if you want to calculate the pressure then you need this formula the pressure is equals to force divided by area in this question we don't have weight of the tank it means we will not uh, include the force in any calculation or it is supposed same in all cases the only area will decide which exert the greatest pressure so calculate the pressure in all cases one by one this is block one in calculation of base area we do not include the height of the tank we need only these dimensions so you can write the area of block 1 is equals to 2 into 3 and it gives 6 squared meter for the second block once again this part will not included only these dimensions make the base area so you can write here a2 is equals to 2 times 4 then it gives 8 squared meter third block do not include this height only these dimensions are required so you can write a3 is equals to 2 times 6 and it gives 12 squared meter the fourth one once again this height no need to include then 6 and 4 are left a4 it equals to 6 times 4 then it gives 24 squared meter now return to the formula of pressure because here the force is constant or same in all cases that's why the area describes the pressure value and pressure and area are inverse in relation if you want to calculate the greatest pressure you need a small area so check with the option 1 we got 6 then 8 12 and 24 which one is the lowest value uh, 6 squared meter that's why this water tank exert greatest pressure so in this case option a is the right answer thank you very much for watching this video follow the playlist of the channel in that you can find all the lessons you need in your igcs physics so keep watching physics with safdar for better results in exam see you in the next lesson share this video subscribe the channel Press the bell icon for the latest videos. Keep watching Physics with Subter.